The small town of Maprikin East Sipik is packed every day because of the high production of vanilla beans. About 500,000 to a million is circulated on the streets a day. With the vanilla boom at hand, MP John Simon says buying of green beans is also becoming common. Green bean is totally banned. But if you're going to buy uh, processed vanilla, you've got to have license. Now we are going there, we are getting there to protect that industry. Because that is, the, that is currently the livelihood of most civic central. If we're going to protect that, only licensed buyers will be buying very soon. No other people is going to go into Maprik and buy vanilla. We have to protect that industry. According to vanilla experts, green beans can severely affect the crop's best value because of how it's processed. The Maprik MP says there are many negative effects like stealing which mostly results in fights and deaths. So once we stop uh, green bean, then if you steal green bean from somebody else's uh, garden, where are you going to go and sell it? You can't sell it with Maprik. We're, we're banning it. Now we're gonna... It's a growing industry in Maprik, Wasaragavi, Abumbuti, Drakikia and Yanguro Sausia. With Maprik the hub of central Sipik, MP Simon says roadblocks will be set up to stop the trade of green vanilla beans. Now once we set up a roadblock, only license vanilla buyers will be allowed to buy vanilla, even the, the, um, the processed ones plus green bean. Green bean is totally banned. But if you're going to buy uh, processed vanilla, you've got to have license. Licensed buyers will also want to help the district carry out the ban and maintain the high quality of the crop. Jack Lepave, Jr., National MTV News.